Usage rate is a stat they use in the NBA, and we're going to adapt it to football. In basketball, usage rate refers to what percent of your team's possessions end with you. The possession ends either if you shoot, get fouled while trying to shoot, or you lose the ball from trying to dribble or pass to a teammate. The goal of this statistic is to understand whether players are productive enough to justify the amount of times that they end their team's possession with the ball. If you're first in usage rate, you should probably be first in the other important categories in basketball, like points. If you're not first in points, you should probably be first in helping your teammates score points, also known as assists. Now, let's talk about football. How do you use possessions? These are the possessions that end with you. Like basketball, you can shoot or you can lose the ball. But there's many ways to lose the ball. You might miscontrol it when it's passed to you. You get tackled or dispossessed. You might attempt a pass and not complete it. Or you might try to take on an opponent and fail. If you count all these actions across the season and then divide it by a player's minutes, you end up with a measure showing how many of these actions a player will do in a typical game. So for each player, I took their number and then compared it to the 10 other players that would most likely be in a starting lineup with that player. Here, we're looking at Kevin De Bruyne. The 10 other players most likely in the lineup would be the rest of the typical Man City starting 11. Now take his teammate, Matthias Nunez. Because Nunez doesn't play every week, he might not be in the typical Man City starting 11. So to get a realistic number, we remove the person who would be playing at his position and insert Matthias Nunez before dividing his number by the sum of all those players. Think about it through the context of Trent Alexander-Arnold and Connor Bradley. They probably won't be in the same 11. And although they play the same position, Trent's usage rate is much higher than Connor Bradley's. He tries a lot more long passes and gets more involved in the attack on a regular basis. Connor Bradley runs up and down all game but he tries fewer things that if they don't come off, give the other team the ball. 